I'm Father Benjamin Gildas, and for all of Incarnation Holy Sacrament Episcopal Church, I invite us all to enter into a time of sacred Advent as we prepare for the coming of Christ at Christmas, for the coming of Christ in our hearts, and for the coming of Christ into the world again to judge the living and the dead. This is a very different year. We know that many things are different, and we know there has been a great deal of pain and suffering this year. And so we invite our whole IHS community and you who are not in our IHS community into a time and season of prayer. This video and the next three that will come are intended to be used in the evening as an ongoing evening prayer service that you could use each night of Advent or each Sunday in Advent. You may want to light an Advent candle or another candle as a part of your time of prayer. You may want to watch this video series. You may want to listen to other music. But whatever you do, I invite you to join us in praying for your suffering or the suffering of others in the world. And I want to thank you for joining IHS in this sacred season of Advent. Because the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them. He will lead them to the springs of life-giving water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. 
God of abundant mercy, you have given us grace to pray with one heart and one voice, even though our hearts are weary and our voices may tremble. Comfort, O oh comfort, O oh Lord. Speak to us of the peace that awaits us. Bring forth the balm of healing for our wounded souls. We ask all this, trusting in the promise you have made to hear the prayers of your beloved children in the name of your holy child. Amen. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese, high in the clean blue air, are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over announcing your place in the family of things. Some of us walk into Christmas, tethered to our unresolved yesterdays, the pain still stabbing, the hurt still throbbing. It's not that we don't know better, it's just that we can't stand up anymore by ourselves. On the way to Bethlehem, will you give us a hand? God of our life. There are days when the burdens we carry chafe our shoulders and weigh us down. When the road seems dreary and endless, the sky is gray and threatening. Flood the path with light. Run our eyes to where the skies are full of promise. Tune our hearts to brave music. Give us the sense of comradeship with heroes and saints of every age and so quicken our spirits that we may be able to encourage the souls of all who journey with us on the road of life. To your honor and glory, amen.
invite you to join me in an affirmation of faith. Therefore, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort in love, any sharing in the Spirit, any sympathy, complete my joy by thinking the same way, having the same love, being united, and agreeing with each other. Don't do anything for selfish purposes, but with humility think of others as better than yourselves. Instead of each person watching out for their own good, watch out for what is better for others. Adopt the attitude that was in Christ Jesus. Though he was in the form of God, he did not consider being equal with God something to exploit, but he emptied himself by taking the form of a slave and by becoming like human beings. When he found himself in the form of a human, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God highly honored him and gave him a name above all names, so that at the name of Jesus, everyone in heaven, on earth, and under the earth might bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Each of us has come here this evening bearing our own hurts or the pains of others. We may be immersed in our suffering. We may be devastated by the cruelty of this time. We may feel that we are all alone, isolated from friends, forgotten by families. We may even feel that we are beyond the reach of God's grace. Yet we are here where God came to us as a vulnerable child, a God who lived among us, who died for us, and who in dying experienced for himself the feeling of abandonment. We come here because tragedy is not the end of the story. We trust that Christ rose from the grave and God will not leave us in our deepest need for waiting and not knowing what is to come, for the space of being ready and quiet and attentive. We praise you, O God, for the night and the day are both alike to you. For staying silent and for the fear of feeling that nothing can be done to change things, we praise you, O God, for the night and the day are both alike to you. For choosing to act, not knowing what the future will bring, we praise you, O God. For the night and the day are both alike to you. For hoping in a world which longs for your reign, for the wrestling and the laboring of creation toward justice and freedom, we praise you, O God. For the night and the day are both alike to you. For the needs of our hearts, for those who are ill or troubled, for those who have died and those who grieve, we praise you, O God, for the night and the day are both alike to you. Spirit of God, be with us who are weighed down by any, many, and unknown causes. Re relieve our suffering that we may feel the hope and peace of your presence. Comfort all people in despair with the grace of your promise. O God, that we may await with hope for the fulfilling of your word through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. On the day when the weight deadens on your shoulders and you stumble, may the tender light bring you balance. And when your eyes freeze behind the gray window and the ghost of loss gets into you, may a flock of colors, indigo, red, green, and azure blue, come to awaken in you a meadow of delight. When the canvas frays in the storm of thought and a stain of ocean blackens beneath you, may there come across the water a path of yellow moonlight to bring you safely home. May the nourishment of the earth be yours. May the clarity of light be yours. May the fluency of the ocean be yours. May the protection of the saints be yours. And so may a slow wind work these words of love around you, an invisible cloak to mind your life.
May the God of infinite grace scatter the weight of despair and strengthen our hearts with holiness. And may God's blessing be with us, Christ's peace be with us, and the Spirit's outpouring be with us, now and always. Amen. <laughs>